Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Sherina Wajibahkan, and today I would like to present you my innovative talk entitled Prejudicial Motherhoodness in Amanda Lucas Koyanovo, the Daughter Cell, 2008. So, first, the background of the research. In 1934, Germany was controlled by Nazis, a political party in Germany that adopted the persecuted Jews and anyone they deemed to be undesirable. The Nazis undertook intimidation and terror campaigns in numerous locations, as well as physical attacks on the Jewish people. The persecution affects Jewish women to have double roles in their life, such as being a mother and a head of their family. According to Meckler, 2000, females are most sensitive and emotional in comparison with males. Prejudicial motherhoodness happens when a mother that becomes the head of family is swayed by her emotion and making decisions that illogically prejudicial toward her family. Prejudicial motherhoodness is harmful for the family when they need to survive from Nazi persecution and escape from Germany. Next one is the focus of the problem. The novel entitled The Doris Cell 2019 by Armando Lucas Coriati. The study will focus on how maternal instinct affects the main character's decision when she is pressed by life death situation. The effort that the main character does in order to survive is fighting back at the family as a prejudicial decision that happened to kill the mother herself. Next, the research question was one. What are the decisions made by the mother in the novel as the result of experiencing motherhoodness? The second one, what are the prejudicial motherhood effects on the family survival in the novel? Next one is the purpose of the research. The study is going to find out two main points. The first one, how the mother makes the prejudicial decisions in the middle of Nazi persecution in the novel The Daughter's Tale by Armando Lucas Correa, 2019. The second one, how the mother's prejudicial motherhoodness affects the family's survival in the novel The Doctor's Tale by Armando Lucas Correa, 2019. This is the conceptual framework. The, uh, at the first, it is the prejudicial motherhoodness then it will be analyzed in the psychoanalysis theory, uh, especially life instinct. And the object of the research is the Doris Style 2090 by Armando Lucas Coya. Then the researcher will analyze the prejudicial decision influenced by maternal instinct in the novel. So this is the review of related studies. First, the psychoanalytic. According to Sigmund Freud, psychoanalytic refers to studying an author unconscious ones and concerts in literary text. In the end, alphons are writing poetry to prose are expression of an author inner wishes and thoughts. The next one, life instinct. According to Sigmund Freud, the life drive is focused on the preservation of life, both of the individual and of the species. This drive compels people to engage in action that sustain their own lives, such as looking after their health and safety. It also exerts itself through sexual drives, motivating people to create and nurture new life. Then there is a element in this research called maternal instinct. According to Plevinsky 2019, maternal instinct is the maternal bond that forms between a mother and her child. There are some previous research that actually happened before my research. The first one, the influence of maternal instinct on sister Regina's personality development as seen in La Virel, Spencer, then Camp Heaven, 2007. The researchers used character and characterization theory to analyze the character and the psychoanalytic theory to study and discuss Regina's personality. At the end of the novel, the maternal instinct that grows inside her leads her to be a better and more assertive person. The second research is the representation of motherhood through the main character in the Bad Moms film, 2017. In this research, the researcher points out some representation of a full-time mother and a working mother. Amy Michelle, the character who plays the role of mother, is described as a working mother who still does her best to raise her daughter. Here, her hard work to keep her daughter well met her the representation of a perfect mother. And this is the research method that used in my research. 
the first data and source data. In this study, the descriptive qualitative approach used to analyze the novel. The research based interpretation based on the above explanation. The novel is examined through fictional device setting. These elements are interconnected and contribute to revealing the novel's meaning. Characters are used to highlight the issue of prejudicial motherhoodness. The next one is the technique of the best on the life instinct theory proposed by Freudian. The researchers presented the protagonist as a mother trying to maintain her own life and her daughter's well-being through the life instinct, including her maternal instinct as a mother. So I think that's all my presentation about my research. Thank you for your attention. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.